Welcome back to the sunny fields of Perthshire in an absolutely glorious day. I'm joined by Albert, who's right there. Look at that for a view. We've got a new permission, thanks to Albert. Um, so we're just going to give it a little try and see how we get on. Don't have great expectations, but we've discovered that this is an old trackway just here to the side of us. And at the far end of it, down here, there used to be a church um, on the maps in 1850, and then it disappeared by 1880. So we'll see if there's anything to be had. So let's see what we can find. Well, that's a first. I've gone from one end of the field, way up there, there, no, there, uh, all the way down to here. There's the, the roadway. This is where our permission ends, where this tree is, right there. I haven't had a single signal. A brand new permission, virgin field. I haven't had a single signal. It's never happened before. So I'm going to branch out a little bit. Um, into the field and fingers crossed someone's dropped something somewhere at some point at last <laughs> 85 86 it's taken 57 minutes 57 to get a diggable signal and I tell you what it could be a coin could be a coin could also be a aluminium Ground's a little bit frozen. But if it's a coin, it'll be worth the wait. But but it might not be. It might not be. I tell you what, I think it's it's aluminium, isn't it? It is. Look. Right there, oh my god, you wait all that time and you get a bit of aluminium. Damn, 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 damn. Two minutes after my bit of aluminium, pretty much bang on the one hour. Got a 52. Not great, mid tone, low tone, whatever you want to call it, but um, also a bit frozen as you can see. Can't actually get the Soil turned over, but damn, we're in the frozen stuff. Let's see if we can get it out. We might be out. We might be out. It's probably going to be foil. Happy be proved wrong. Somewhere in there. Right, I'm going to need to break this open and then get right back to you. We've got a clod shot. Ah, oh, don't believe it. Well, it's not quite junk, but it's not far off it. It's a shotgun cap. Frozen. Frozen in the mud. But yes, it's a shotgun cartridge, or part of it. Oh well. We've got signal number three. Eighty-three. One hour and fifteen minutes. And I've kind of moved in to the field a little bit now. Ah, oh, and it's vanished. It's not on my spade. Well, it is on my spade. And I can see something. Is it a buckle? No, I don't think it is. I think it's maybe a bit of wire. Oh no, maybe not. Let's get you out the wind and into the sun. It's actually... I think we've got a buckle. Well, it's seen better days. But, is it a buckle? Oh, I can't quite make my mind up. Well, I think it's been circular, whatever it is. It could even be a bit of a tarpaulin. You know, an eyelet in a canvas or a tarpaulin. But, no, I don't think it is a buckle. I think I'm just trying to convince myself that I've got something good. So... So far, it's one of those days. Well, Albert's doing better than me. Look at that. He's won a watch. He's uh, he's got himself a little uh, a little next. That's a department store in 
in the United Kingdom. He's got himself a watch, not particularly old. He's got himself this, which is kind of a little bit like a sort of stylus, a little sort of pencil, but I think it's probably off a bit of furniture. But uh, let us know in the comments. He's also got this very unusual thing, which is a great big lead. It's almost like a stopper, like a lid for a for a pot or something like that. But my God, it weighs about three ounces. It's about 100 grams, 80 grams, 100 grams, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what that is. And it's got what looks like a little bit of leather stuck to it. So maybe it's off of a, a leather fitting as well, some sort of horse related, but... I don't know why you'd want to put a huge lump of lead on your horse. But he has also got a coin. So there is hope yet. Now, what does the bendy thumb decide it is? It is... I'm not sure who it is. Oh, it's George. It's George V. Yep, it is. Georgius V. You can see his head looking to the left hand side. It's a half penny. It's pretty crusty on the back. I don't think we're going to get a date off that. Um no, it's beyond beyond saving. But it's a half penny. And uh, he was on the throne from 1910 to 1936. So it's uh, well, it's better than I've done, that's for sure. Well, this one's probably going to be a bit of a bit of foil, 51, but given I'm getting absolutely nothing, let's see if we can turn up something. Still in the hole. Even a wee button would be nice. Wee button. Still nothing. Right, we're out. We're out, and it's a 51, and it could be just about anything. Oh, there's something there. Something round. Oh, it's better than a button. Look at that. I think it's a horse brass or a, a lead um, fitting for a horse saddle or harness. This is the back. And it looks pretty plain. I don't see any letters. Now the other side. What have we got? No writing. That I can see. It is just a little decoration. So it looks like it's it's made of lead. And it's a little boss sort of shield. So that's probably going to be from the 1800s. Possibly into the early 1900s. It's my best find. It's, uh, well, at least it's something. So I can't complain. Nice. Well, this time a 78. Eh, could be some copper. Maybe. Thankfully not too deep. Out with a garret carrot. Just as long as it's not junk. Something a wee bit interesting. What's that? Nope. Well, I must be there or thereabouts. There we go. Well, it's round. It's not going to be a coin. It's going to be a button, surely. It's a button. I can feel the shank on the back. There you go. Alright, we give it a wee brush just in case there's any decoration, but it's... Well, it's old. It's something, isn't it? You all know me. I love my buttons. So it seems to be... It's got a line decoration on the back. It's probably... There has been a little bit of decoration or a bit of lettering on there at some point, but can't see anything now. Let's see there. Yeah, I think there's just the faintest little bit of writing. And on this side, have we got anything? Or is it plain? 
think it's going to be plain, and it is. So it's a button. Date-wise, well, it could be 17, could be 1800, so arguably my oldest find yet. I did say I wanted a button, so you get what you wish for. Now all I need is a gold coin. It's another low target. 55, but at least I'm getting targets now. After that slow start. Can't see us doing much longer. It's pretty cold, it's pretty windy. Oh, I think I've got something just there, have I? That is a bolt. Or a nut. Or is it a nut or a bolt? I can't remember. But um, either way, stainless steel. Ah, well. Not long to go. Almost back to the car, just 50 metres or so, and I got myself a little 84. Now, a wee half penny would be nice. A wee coin, just to finish off. Now, it's not in the frozen soil, so that's one of the good things. And it looks like aluminium. And it is junk. Oh well. Well, you can't win them all, folks. That is the extent of my good finds. And, uh, you know, some people, I think, think that we go out and find treasure all the time. But this, yet again, is just proof that it doesn't work like that. Find of the day. Well, this beautiful button is uh, probably number two. But I think number one has to be this lovely little lead horse decoration. Probably going to be a couple of hundred years old. But you can't win them all. We're surrounded by medieval, Bronze Age, Iron Age. We've even got several Roman sites within, um, within eye distance, within a half a mile or so. And we didn't find anything old. We even had an old church and an old trackway. And all it produced was a watch and a half penny. So, thank you all for watching. If nothing else, we had a beautiful view. I mean, look at that. It's not often I can show you the surrounding landscape, but it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit windy. It's very cold. It's probably about freezing or just below freezing, but when you're moving around, it's not too bad. So, no treasures today, but it's a permission. You can never have enough permissions, and uh, well done, Albert, for sorting it out. And We've not even scratched the surface. Just because we've had a, a pretty awful day doesn't mean we'll not be back. We'll definitely be back again and see if there's anything more to be had. So, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, then hit the button. We'll see you on the next dig. Thanks for watching.